Another element of the grammar for chapter 5a in Spanish 1 is the use of possessive adjectives. These are the words that say that this is something that I possess. So the words in English for possessive adjectives are my, your, his, her, our, and their. So let's figure out what the possessive adjectives are in Spanish. My in Spanish will be me, like mi amigo. You may remember though, that when we wanted to say that we spent time with friends, it was pasar tiempo con mis amigos. That's because my friends were plural. So when the thing that we own, the thing that comes right after this possessive adjective is plural, we're gonna make it plural as well. Mi familia, mis gatos. Same thing's gonna happen with the word your. Your is two. This is without an accent. If it's two with an accent, that means you. Without an accent, it means your. And once again, if, you, if it's your house, it's tu casa. But if you have a bunch of houses, they would be tus casas. This does not mean you are plural. It's the word that comes after this. It's the thing that is being possessed. It's based on the casas, that it becomes plural. We want to say his or her or your, if we're speaking respectfully in the instead form, that is going to be su. Or if his stuff is plural, it would be sus. Our, there's two options for this one. There's a masculine and a feminine option. I'll write these while the bell rings, ending zero period. So don't let that bother you. So if our object that we own is masculine, like our dog, it would be nuestro perro. It doesn't have anything to do with us or whether we are masculine or feminine. It's based on the thing that follows. It's based on the object that we possess. And of course, these can also be plural. Uh, if it's yours, and we're talking about plural people in Spain only, then it's vuestro or vuestra. Feel free to write that down or leave it blank, depending on whether or not you're choosing to learn the vosotros form. And then for there or yours, if it's all of yours, you guys is, that's gonna be the same as his. And that's where we kind of get confused as English speakers. If it's his house, it's su casa. If it's all of their house, it's still su casa. It doesn't become plural. Why? It's plural based on the word that follows it. It's based on the object. So if all of them have one dog, it's su perro. If all of them have a ton of dogs, it would be sus perros. So I want you to write in giant letters somewhere on your notes that this is based on the object, not the subject, but based on the object that immediately follows our possessive adjectives.